scan of Pluto. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like it's going over the heart right at this second. Amazing observations. So we'll go back and see with Dwayne if he's got his, uh, his interviews. Okay, well, while Dwayne is still running those up, with us is Alice Bowman, the mission operations manager for New Horizons. And Alice, I guess my first question for you would be, what are you doing here? <laughs> right, shouldn't somebody be flying the spacecraft? But New Horizons is on its own, programmed to be doing all these maneuvers uh, out near Pluto. So tell us, how does that work? I'm sure we loaded up all the commands to the spacecraft um, about a week ago, and it's just ticking down its checklist. Um, those commands are firing off at the time that the scientists want them to fire off. And so this is closest approach. This is when you get the best science. So it, we don't want it to point to Earth and talk to us. We want it to take science. So that's what it's doing. So many of the operations team members are here at CASI. When, um, when was the last time we heard from it? We heard from it last night. Um, the, we started the um, track about 10.08 uh, p.m. Eastern, and we had signal from the spacecraft until 11.17 p.m. The, uh, you, you explain it, it, it can't take data and communicate with Earth at the same time. How come? Well, we um, built that spacecraft for a long duration mission, and when you do that, you want to have as few moving parts as possible. So we have that uh, fixed antenna on board the spacecraft, and so in order to communicate with Earth, you have to point that in a antenna back to Earth so that it can beam that signal. Likewise, when you take science observations, you have to take that spacecraft and you have to point those instruments to where those objects are that they want to observe. Okay, and like you mentioned before, you know, uh, less time on Pluto, I mean, more time talking to Earth is less time on Pluto, and the, the busiest time right now for this encounter happening, you definitely don't want to be looking at Earth. No, talk, definitely not. <laughs> talking to us. <laughs> um, let's take us to the timeline then of what happens today and into tonight. We've seen the observations that are happening on board uh, the rest of the day. Um, well, I'll step back a teeny bit and sure. say that we had um, a lot of activity in the mock last night. We didn't have single signal from the spacecraft, but we were actually uploading, uplinking signals to the Rex instrument yeah. on board. And of course, we have to start those uplinks about four and a half hours before that experiment is taking place on the spacecraft. So we had seven of the DSN antennas, Deep Space Network antennas, trained on New Horizons and sending an uplink signal. Um, we started that about uh, 3 a.m. this morning, and we continued that until about 6.30. And then um, we will take a little break. In a couple hours, we'll do that again. But um, in the operations center, you'll, you'll see us start to um, congregate there uh, mm -hmm. a little bit before um, perhaps 7 p.m., right. and we uh, will hopefully, I'm sure, get signal at uh, 8.53 p.m. local, and we'll have a very short burst of 15 minutes where we'll get information from the spacecraft and we'll be able to tell you if it's healthy. And um, so, so that's our plan for today. Yeah. I mean, with a little bit of rest in between, I would think, to make that happen. So. Yeah, that would be um, All right, Alice, well, thank you for joining us. And, you know, good luck tonight. Rest thank you. Right. Um, you know, I got to say, too, I mean, the, uh, the social media buildup on this has just been incredible. And, I mean, uh, we can go to, to NASA Social's Jason Townsend to fill us in. I mean, Jason, I'm having a hard time not looking at my iPad here and checking out Twitter and the buzz and everything else that's going on. Tell us what's happening on social media with New Horizons. I, I, it's all over the place. Indeed, indeed. Yes, uh, you know, it's an exciting time. Today is a great day, and we're going to be doing live coverage all over social media on NASA's accounts out there. Right now, Pluto Flyby is trending on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, and right now, we've also got a sneak peek of the image that is going to be released at 8 a.m. this morning up on NASA's Instagram account. So lots of events, though, that our social media followers can join us and follow along and get involved with today. They're scheduled all afternoon and evening. Uh, so we'll have members of the New Horizons team uh, ready to answer your questions starting today at noon Eastern time in a Reddit AMA on the Reddit site. At 2 p.m. Eastern time today, we'll have a Facebook a question and answer session on NASA's Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash NASA. And then today at 6 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be doing a tweet chat on at NASA New Horizons, where we'll be taking your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. 
during both of our press briefings this morning coming up at 8 a.m. and also this evening uh, where we get the healthy spacecraft signal back, uh, we'll be taking your questions and having them answered by our subject matter experts up here using the hashtag AskNASA. So there's lots that you can get involved with. So really, it's an exciting day. We hope that you're going to keep following along. We'll be posting all of the news about the Pluto flyby today on at NASA and at NASA New Horizons on Twitter, on NASA's Facebook page, Google Plus page, and Instagram accounts out there, as well as the New Horizons Facebook page. So follow along, join us, and get involved. Yeah, Jason, I'm curious too, I mean, because there's so much coming out of the mission. I mean, there's pictures, there's conversation. What are you seeing more of online? Is it people are talking more about the images that are coming down? Is it just the general excitement? of what's happening with New Horizons, what, what are you seeing? Well, I think people are definitely excited. This is one of our you know, most incredible looks that we've had of Pluto. It's uh, the first spacecraft to get there and uh, take a really in-depth look. So people are kind of standing by with uh, you know, bated breath, waiting for the latest and greatest images uh, and all the information that the uh, mission's gonna be returning. And so uh, we're gonna be sharing that all along on social media with everyone. Okay, Jason, sounds good, thanks. Um, so remember, keep following the activity. The Twitter handle at NASA New Horizons, of course, www.nasa.gov slash New Horizons. And let's go back out to Dwayne Brown, Countdown Central. Dwayne, what's going on? I hope you can hear me because the, the tension, the excitement is infectious. Uh, people from all over the world of all ages are so excited. They are um, some are even crying, waiting for this moment, you know? Uh, I've been, I've never seen so much excitement and, and, and so much, you know, the anticipation of it. You're hearing uh, from uh, the Tom bombs, Tom bombs were uh, talking to the audience and of course they're the daughter and son, Annette and Alden of Clyde Tom Bomb, who discovered Pluto in 1930. And again, Apologize for uh, all of the extra noise here, but you know, here in Countdown Central, everybody just is just having a good time. It's a celebration, and I have to tell you, I'm glad to be here. I, I love sharing a set with you, Mike, but it's really fun to be out here. Back to you, because we're getting close to making history. Okay. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I guess you got the prime spot out there. I'm here on the desk, but we're going to check back in with the spacecraft. What's going on with eyes on the solar system and new horizons and see where it is in his activity. Hundreds of observations at this point in close approach as we get closer to Pluto, four minutes away, a little more than four and a half minutes away from flying by Pluto. Looking at the observations here, target right between the Pluto, uh, the, they call it the Pluto Barrier Center. This is the spot of gravity between Pluto and its largest moon, Sharon. Follow this online, eyes.nasa.gov. Um, you know, this truly is an historic moment. The fastest spacecraft ever to leave Earth, about to complete the farthest voyage to reach its primary target, right now making the first exploration of Pluto and its family of moons, opening the door to an entirely new region that we've only just begun to understand. Uh, we can check back in, too, on mission operations and see again with the activity or lack of activity. We'll point out again this is going to be the place to watch later on tonight as we anticipate the signal coming back from New Horizons. Again, you see here, there's no activity. The spacecraft is on its own, going through all of its activity programmed into its computers. Tonight, we expect New Horizons to check back in around nine o'clock Eastern time, check back in with a signal that would indicate that it's healthy and that it did everything it was programmed and supposed to do. Um, we're gonna check back in with Dwayne outside of Countdown Central. Dwayne, back to you. Mike, we are about three you know, minutes I'm, I'm away that, um, right now. The head the of planetary science at NASA, Jim Green, is addressing the audience. Uh, I got to tell you, um, if you may not, I'm going to hold this up here. Everyone has an American flag. And when we have that countdown, you're going to see something really, really special. Uh, again, the excitement is infectious. I hope that. Uh, you get one of these flags because I'm really lucky to have this and uh, I'm going to take it back to you, but uh, we're getting close. Really fun out here. Okay, in fact, I'm going to go back over to, uh, to Jason Townsend with NASA Social. Jason, uh, checking the, the trending out there and what's happening. What do we got? 
Indeed, there's a lot of love for uh, the sneak peek on Instagram right now of the image that's out there. Uh, we're also uh, going to get ready here at 8 a.m. and uh, release uh, the image everywhere and put it out uh, and talk all about the science behind it. So uh, leading up here, though, to these next couple of minutes here with the um, flyby, people are definitely talking about it. We're still trending with Pluto Flyby on Twitter and Facebook and uh, getting involved in the conversation. Join us. Indeed, continue to follow along. We're live on NASA TV, which you can follow at www.nasa.gov. Keep looking for news at www.nasa.gov slash New Horizons and following along on at NASA New Horizons on Twitter, hashtag Pluto Flyby. Um, I think we're going to be ready to join the countdown soon out at uh, Countdown Central with Dwayne Brown. Uh, Dwayne, activity out there? How's it looking? Stage. Well, Mike, it's getting close here. Uh, Alan Stern, the principal investigator of the mission, has called everybody to the stage. We've had speeches. We've had remarks. We, we've had the son and daughter of the, the man who discovered Pluto in 1930. And we're getting there. We're uh, a little over a minute out here at Countdown Central. I just, again, the excitement. And the whole world is watching this. All of the media social media it's it's just amazing museums everybody everybody is a part of history history and science and exploration taking place right here in lower maryland at the johns hopkins applied physics laboratory ladies and gentlemen we're getting close it's 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 almost there again what you're going to see you're going to see Thousands, probably more than a thousand people are crowded in this room. They're going to have American flags. They're gathering. They're hugging. Some, it's about America. We're getting ready to make history. Let's take it and see history in the making. Hey, Lillian, can you get John Grunsfeld here real quick? John Grunsfeld, I need you. Yep, right now. You can see the atmosphere in the room, too. So people, they were waving flags, get started. The New Horizon spacecraft passes its close approach mark at Pluto. After a three billion mile journey, nine and a half years, launched in January 2006, flew by Jupiter 2007. Record speed across the solar system, crossing planetary orbits faster than any other spacecraft had reached them. Speeds of 30,000 miles an hour. Almost hard to think of, hard to imagine. Still after nine and a half years, now made it. First on Pluto's doorstep, now past Pluto. Gathering amazing amounts of information. Opening the door to an entirely new region of the solar system that until recently we knew nothing about. This is exploration at its finest. Check it out. Look how busy New Horizons still scanning away. Doesn't realize it just made history. Doing it right now. Go back to the room and see, see the folks on stage. That's the director of the Applied Physics Laboratory, Ralph Semmel. Mission uh, officials, we saw Alan Stern, principal investigator, the Tombaugh's. OK, let's go back out to Dwayne Brown. Ma Mike, America's space program has written a new chapter in science and exploration. History has been made, and standing next to me is one of those key individuals that has made that history happen. This is Dr. John Grunsfeld, and if you don't know him, I'm shocked because everyone knows him. Five-time Space Shuttle flown astronaut, also known as the Hubble Repairman, but he is the director of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, and New Horizons is one of almost 100 missions in the Science Mission Directorate. Dr. Grunsfeld, how does it feel? 
history and, uh, in science. Here, oh, it's stand. just amazing. I mean, this is and truly a hallmark in human Philadelphia history. Was the only planet that was not yet explored. What does it take this is from to have a mission go billions of miles, take all about nine, two nine ago, years, uh, lots of moving pieces? What's the secret to success like this? Well, people often think that the so, success to missions you like this is, you, you know, the engineers, the hardware, the mission itself. This but the We're real key the is the teamwork, and that's what NASA excels at, is think? bringing teams of scientists, engineers, technicians from industry, academia, from government together to do these incredible feats like we've just done with New Horizons. One last question. Okay, you know, so we, we made history today, but there's something the, 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 the story's not over. There's something that has to happen this evening. What, describe that, that moment that's coming up this evening. Of course, we are this celebrating the moment by which the New Horizons States, spacecraft had its closest approach to Pluto as it's like taking it all the incredible data, but we're not talking to the spacecraft. It's doing its job. Tonight, we're going to get the signal, the ping, that it made it through the system, and it's ready to start sending us the treasure trove of data. Congratulations, Dr. Grunshaw. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm just having all those special guests here. Hey, this is Dr. Alan Stern, the principal investigator, the scientist, the main scientist on this mission. Pl pl history has been made, Dr. Stern, it's got to feel good. It feels good. You know, so many people put so much work into this around the country. Engineers and scientists, yeah. technicians, business people, people like yourself in communications. Uh, it's a moment of celebration because we've just done the anchor leg. We have completed the initial reconnaissance of the solar system. Uh, an endeavor started under President Kennedy more than 50 years ago, continuing to today under President Obama. It's really historic what the United States has done. And the New Horizons team is really proud to have been able to run that anchor leg and make this accomplishment. Well, Dr. Stern, before you go, and we have to transition, I know we've got another event coming up. Dr. Grunsfeld talked about, you know, the story is not over. We've got something that really is going to be special this evening. Give me your thoughts on what's going to transpire later on today. Right. Well, the spacecraft is currently doing its job taking measurements in the Pluto system at a very rapid pace. And uh, we are going to have it check back in with us about 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight. And that's when we'll find out if it completed its job successfully. Dr. Stern, congratulations. And I'll see you this evening. Thank you, Dwayne. So, Mike, head down at Countdown Central, where you heard Dr. Grunsfeld, you heard Dr. Stern, and others. America's Space Program has written a new chapter in space and exploration. Back to you. Uh, that, that, thanks, Dwayne. The atmosphere. You know, Pluto is no longer the unexplored world. And as one countdown ends, another begins. As you've heard, we wait for New Horizons to phone home tonight and let us know that all went well. So stay tuned to NASA TV for our next media briefing. And we'll get an update and our look at some of the last images that New Horizons took of Pluto before going into the flyby. So I'm Mike Buckley. And for Dwayne Brown and the New Horizons team, thanks for watching.